to uh, hello everyone welcome back to our channel so uh, today we are going to show that how can you silently uninstall the application that is installed on your machine so previously we have seen that how can you install it silently but today we are going to see if you want to uninstall then how can you do that without without uh, the user interface okay let's get started so I have noted down a few uh, links and, uh, and steps over here. I am also going to demo it for you today. So before we start, just make sure that you have this DB browser installed on your machine. So I have it already installed on my machine. So this is DB browser SQLite. It's free of course. You can just download it using the link. The link is available in the description of this video. So. Here's the download page. There are different installers for 32 bit windows, 64 bit windows. There is also a Mac OS installer if you have a Mac machine. So, the steps that we're going to see is pretty much the same for both Windows and Mac. It's just that the location for different setups that we will use in this video is different. So, I'll share those uh, reference paths in the description of the video. Okay, so let's get started. So I have 2022 Photoshop elements installed on my machine and I want to uninstall it silently. Why would I want to do it if I can use the interface? So there are a lot of enterprises who have a particular version installed on, on, on a lot of machines in, in the enterprise environment. They do not want to uh, uninstall the product one by one and they want to do it in one go on all the machines. So that is how they do it for installation. So today we are going to see how can they uninstall as well? Okay, so I have 2022 elements installed. Okay, to uh, uninstall, we we need one thing that because it is possible that uh, there are multiple updates also on the product. It is possible that a different version is installed, not the base version, which got shipped. Okay, so basically, when when a product is launched, a uh, base version is shipped. So for 2022, it's 20.0. It is possible that on your machine there was an update applied and it's not 20.2, you have 20.2 or 20.3. So how do you check that? There is no way that you can uh, know about the version of the product from the UI because it's hidden in the backend. Okay. So what you can so for this we are going to use DB Browser SQLite. So what we'll do is we'll launch DB Browser SQLite we'll open a database so the database is over here in the caps folder c program file 86 common files it will be caps so i'll just copy this and go over here so this is the database which i want to open so i just open it with db browser sqlite so here it is okay so now my database is open i'll go to browse data package installation info package installation meta info there are different different tables for it okay so basically you, you need to go into the table product installation information so this is the product installation info here you can see that i have pc20.4 installed okay so what i'll do is i have now i know that i have version 20.4 installed so what i have to do next is i have to launch command prompt in the administrator mode now since my command prompt is in administrator mode i wouldn't need any admin access or admin rights and assuming that uh, the solution is for the enterprise users so they already have admin access to all the computers they want to run this command on so next step is to set up to change the directory in the command prompt to to this particular location for mac also there is a location which i'll again share in the description of the video so I open the command prompt, use cd command, paste the location where I want to change the directory to. So as you can see, the directory has been changed from system32 to the HD box where I have a setup. So if you start writing, so there is a set hyphen up.exe. There is a setup file over here I can show you. So it will be Adobe Desktop Common HD box. So you can see there is a this exe which we'll use to uninstall okay there is also an uninstaller please don't use it we have to use setup.exe and since there are two setup.exe make sure you use the one with the hyphen all right so the next thing is we have to specify different parameters because there is a possibility that a 
some other Adobe products also installed. Even if there are not other product Adobe products installed, these parameters are mandatory to pass. Okay. So first thing we do is silent is equals to one, which informs the setup.exe that you don't have to run in run a user interface, but, just, but do all the operation in the back end. Next is the operation that you want to perform that is uninstall. Okay. Next is you have to specify the product which you want to install. So in case of PRE, it would have been PRE, but right now I have Photoshop elements. So the SAP code for Photoshop elements is PAC. So I'll give this, I'll give all these details in the description of the video. So you don't have to worry about it. So I have given SAP code is equals to PAC. There, then there is a parameter codex version. Okay, codex version is equals to the, is the version that you actually checked over here that, okay. Uh, why is my database closed? I'll again open it. Sorry, guys. So, itpen.db. All right. Product installation info. PSC is 24, 20.4. So, I have to give it 20.4 over there. All right. So, next is the platform that I have to give. Product platform is equals to Win64. So I'm giving it Win64 because it's a Windows machine. If it is a Mac Mac machine, then you have to give OS X 1064. I'll again give the give this parameter details into the description. Next, the last parameter is is optional. If you want to delete the user preferences or not, so so this preferences is equals to true or false. That you can, this is optional. If you don't give it by default, it will take it as false. Otherwise, if you specify it. You can give true or false. So once you write the entire one, what you have to do is you have to just enter. Okay. Now you see there is this uh, a small spinner going around my mouse because it's actually starting the process in the back end. So just to confirm, what I'll do is I'll open the task manager and also see that. Uh, Windows command from C. So there are two instances of Adobe install which is running. So basically what it's doing is it's uninstalling Photoshop Elements 2022 in the back end. So the process of our installation is quite fast and it should do it in about 30 to 40 seconds. It should not take more than that. So we'll wait with it. As you can see, the icon has been removed. And now very soon you will see that the Adobe install instances will also be closed. That would mean that the installation, uh, that the uninstallation is complete. <clears throat> All right, waiting for Adobe installer to kill. So there, there could be different uh, scenarios where the error might come. I'll cover that in a separate video. But for this video, assuming that everything goes fine, this is the uh, process that, that you can follow to uninstall silently on a lot of machines using your command prompt. Okay, it took some time. I wasn't expecting it to take so much of time, but it is, it's, it, it is because my machine is a little slow. But if you have good machines, so see, Adobe Installer is now killed.